Hello friends, welcome to my lab. In this video, I will show you the open circuit test of single phase transformer and we will find out the parameters from the test that is the no load power factor, phase angle, core loss component, magnetizing component, etc. And we will draw the equivalent circuit diagram of the transformer and vector diagram of the transformer at no load. If you love my video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Let's switch on. For performing the experiment, we need a single phase variac, a voltmeter for measuring the open circuit voltage, an ammeter for measuring the no load current, and a wattmeter for measuring the no load power taken by the transformer, and a digital multimeter used as voltmeter for measuring the voltage across the low voltage side of the transformer. Before performing the test, let's understand the circuit and connect it virtually. So you can see this is the circuit diagram for the open circuit test of the transformer. Basically, for availability of the low voltage measuring instrument, the open circuit test is done in low voltage side and high voltage side remains in open condition and normal rated voltage is to be fed to the low voltage side. For regulated power supply, we have to connect the single phase variac with 240 volt 50 hertz supply and from the variac, it is connected with M terminal of the wattmeter. The M and C terminal of the wattmeter is sorted and the L terminal is connected with a low range ammeter from ammeter it is connected with the transformer and from transformer it is connected with another terminal of the variac now V terminal of the wattmeter is connected with the neutral point of the variac we have to connect a voltmeter across the primary side of the transformer for measuring the rated supply voltage and the high voltage side of the transformer remains in open condition or we can connect a voltmeter across it so this was our connection diagram for the open circuit test of the transformer now let's connect it the low voltage side of the transformer is connected with the power supply that means connected with the variac and this 230 volt side remains open or we can connect a voltmeter for measuring the no load secondary voltage and from the variac it is connected with a ammeter from ammeter it is connected with the m terminal of the wattmeter you can see the M terminal and the MC terminals are sorted from L terminal it is connected with the low voltage side of the transformer another side of the low voltage side is connected with variac the primary side circuit is completed and across the low voltage side we have connected a voltmeter I have used a multimeter as voltmeter the V terminal of the wattmeter is connected with the neutral point of the variac the circuit is completed and now let's switch on the power and we have to fade the rated power supply to the low voltage side you can see the voltage across the low voltage side is 129.1 volt and secondary side voltage is 230 volt the no load primary current of the transformer is between 0 to 1 ampere we cannot read it accurately the watt meter reading is very low it is between 0 to 50 watt near about 0 watt so we have to take a clip on ammeter for measuring the actual value of the current it is 0 0.93 ampere so near about 1 ampere we can say if clammeter is not available then we can use a digital ammeter for measuring the no load current we have replaced the wattmeter with a digital wattmeter you can see the wattage is about 45 watt and this wattage indicates the total core loss of the transformer now you can see we have filled out the observation table that is the no load current is 0 0.95 ampere the no load primary voltage is 129.1 volt and the no load power is 45 watt by using this data we have to calculate the no load power factor iw that means the core loss component i mu that means the magnetizing component r0 x0 etc after calculation we have find out that the no load power factor that means cos phi 0 is 0 0.367 lag the phase angle is 68.47 degree the core loss component iw is 0 0.3486 ampere the magnetizing component i mu is 0 0.8837 ampere the sun parameter r0 is 370.33 ohm and x0 is 146.09 ohm by using this data we have drawn the vector diagram of the transformer at no load and this is the equivalent circuit diagram of the transformer on no load we will find out the other parameters of the transformer after performing the short circuit test of this transformer i have already shown 
all tests on transformer in my previous video you can find the links in description and for this test what to write in your lab sheet you can find the link in description in my next video i will show you the short circuit test of this transformer till then stay tuned with us jahind jai bharat